Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Hexily Math Class. Great to see you again here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the new video updates. In this video, I'm going to introduce you what is imaginary numbers. We already know what the real numbers are. These are the numbers that can be then in the number line. We also know that the real number can be broadly classified as rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are those that can be present as ratio of two integers with no common factor. Irrational numbers, on the other hand, cannot be expressed as ratio of two integers. And when we represent it in decimal notation, they are non-terminating, non-recurring decimals. Are there any other kinds of numbers? Numbers that we haven't looked at yet. Before you answer these questions, let me ask you another one. Can you think of a number which when square result in a natural value? Yes, a number which when multiply with itself with a negative value. You try it. You would have probably tried a few options. For example, 3 times 3 is 9 is positive. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25 again positive. Negative root 3 times negative root 3 is 3 positive again. We seem like no luck here. Well, we will come back to this after this. Don't worry. So, we have studied quadratic equation in secondary school. And we know that if x squared minus 9 is equal to 0, x is neither to 3 or negative 3. Now, we try to find a solution to x squared plus 1 equal to 0. Not sure or do you think that there is no solution to this one? Don't worry if you couldn't get the answer for this question. Let us understand the equations now. Whenever we consider the square of a number, say x, the result was always positive. Whether the number x was a positive real number or a negative real number, we always got a positive result. And we have learned that a negative number did not have a square root. So if we have a number like negative 9, we say that its square root does not exist. Do you remember that you are finding the solutions of a quadratic equation using the formulas? If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac was negative, we say that there are no real group of the quadratic equations. Based on what we have studied earlier, x squared plus 1 equal to 0 will not have any real group as the value of the discriminant is negative 4. Why did we do this and what was the problem is? Is easy as the square root of negative 1 does not exist. It says that there was no solution for the equation x squared plus 1 equal to 0. However, in the 16th century, it was a mathematician named Kahneman who first started thinking about solutions of quadratic equations with negative discriminants. Soon, others started to, but it's what in the 18th century who give the square root of negative 1, symbol i, and call it the unit imaginary numbers. This will turn so, as they were thought to be impossible and just something was imagined. So, i was assumed to be a number whose square is negative 1. Now, you will be able to answer these two questions. Can you think of a number which when square result in a negative value? Yes, it is i. If square root of negative 1 is i, what is i times i or i squared? It is root negative 1 times the root negative 1 that gives us negative 1. Here you go, we got a negative number by squaring a number. And the other question was, can you find a solution to x squared plus 1 equal to 0? The answer is 
Yes. Transposing 1 to the right hand side, we get x squared as negative 1. Taking the square root on both sides, we will get the value of x as plus minus root of minus 1. That is plus minus i. So, what we have learned in the secondary school wasn't incorrect. The equations have no real root. Yes, it has the imaginary roots. That's the concept of imaginary numbers for you. Now, I hope that you understand the concept of square root of negative 1 before entering the next class. Thank you for watching my video. Do remember to like and subscribe my YouTube channel.